So we're heading over to uh, Facebook for this particular story right here. Now, a lot of you guys know that I get my content from multiple sources. So shout out to the ones that send me links and shout out to the channels that I see that I think it's interesting for you guys to know. Now, let me just break this down for a minute so that you guys can understand that this is not no hating. And I, I don't understand the term hating right if you bring something out to the internet and people question it or or maybe have a difference of opinions on it it's just that a difference of opinions it does not necessarily mean that they're hating on you they don't even know you to hate you so when people come and tell me oh man you just hating on that person or you're hating on that company or you're hating on this and you're hating on that no it ain't that I don't know the company. I don't know the person. I'm just looking at it as a stranger, looking at the information that you bring in out here. That's all. That's all. I see it. I have a thought about it. I have an opinion. And being that this is public, I can question, it, right? Maybe I'm not supposed to question anything. Maybe we're not supposed to be in your business, but your business becomes our business when you put it out there in the internet. This is this this is the world we live in now. Your business always was your business when you kept it to yourself and only your circle only needs to know about it. That's your business. Back in the day, people understood the assignment. Popeye was this type of person. He was always locked in his room and only the family knew about it. That was their business. Nobody else knew about it until the internet came and somebody in that family decided to share their story. Now their story became public. Now everybody has a opinion about it and everybody is talking about it. So that's the same thing goes with today's internet, today's social media. This is, this is what you guys are looking for. You guys are looking for attention because if that wasn't the case, y'all wouldn't have shared the story. If you didn't want nobody to know about it or know what you're doing or what type of business that you're businessing in, you wouldn't have put it out. So this story again comes from Facebook and it's actually a Facebook ad right so this young lady uh, you guys may know her a successful guru uh, she goes by the name of casey and she's from the compass circle she's also the same young lady that's uh, featured in the first ladies of freight a reality show on roku uh, this young lady has been in the trucking business for uh, quite a while and by what she says she's successful at it she has a get together in atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia. She has a First Ladies of Freight Expo type deal. And what she's gonna teach you is how to run a trucking company without being in the trucks. That style of business is called turnkey. You put your money in and they do all the work and you reap the rewards. Now, throughout the years, there has been several quote unquote gurus that has done that some been successful many of them been controversial but what what do i know about that style of business well not not much i'm, I'm not gonna cap i did my homework i did google i read the reviews i seen some of the people i talked to some of the people i seen the the, the google posts of all these people and i i come up with with a thing in my head that tells me that this might not be a good idea for me now maybe a good idea for you but not a good idea for me i i went through the mud i paid for my license i'm in the industry i'm driving the truck i'm learning the regulations i'm i'm learning everything i need to know as far as driving the truck i got a little bit of insight on the logistics size because I work for a small trucking company and I, I see the logistics of what they go through on a daily basis, how they save money, what money needs to be spent, what, what way to bring people in, learning the business that way. I, I feel as though that if you're inspiring to own your own truck, I feel as though that you should use the company's truck as, as a jumpstart. What do you mean by that? what i tell you 
use the company's truck see how see how they feel use their truck and run it as if it was your own again what do you mean by that well instead of fueling up the truck let's get get your load assigned to you see what you need to do as far as that load plan it out and see how much fuel you need to get to get to and from that load use the truck run that truck like it was your own truck and learn what you need to learn so that when it's time to get your own truck, you pretty much have an idea of what's going on out there. You don't have an idea if you're a person that invests in a in a style of business that this young lady is preaching to you. All you're doing is just sitting there investing your money and that's it. If you're gonna do that, you might as well sit there and invest your money into your own business instead of investing your money into somebody else to try to build a business for you. It never works out that way. See the style of business that they're offering to you and that they're gonna to preach to you at this, this Espo, this get together is pay me, I'll get the truck, I'll get the freight, I'll get the drivers, I'll do this. Okay, no problem. But when things go wrong though, see here's the here's the thing that they're, they might be telling you, but it probably might be in small print is that oh we can't guarantee all of that we can't guarantee the freight we can't guarantee the drivers and we can't guarantee what type of truck that you would get but what we can do is get you the freight get you the drivers and get you the truck that's all we can do but we can't guarantee what what type of driver what type of freight what type of truck and let's say when everything goes wrong it falls back on the person that made that investment. Why? Because the person that you invested in is only there for one purpose. But when everything turns to shit, everything's gonna fall back on you. Truck breakdown, oh, they looking at you to get it fixed. Uh, truck get into an accident because that's something that nobody ever talk about either. How an accident can really shut down a business quickly. They ain't tell them about that. That first rollover, that first crash, that first fatality. Yeah. And all of that falls back on you, the investor. Hey, but wait a minute. She was the one. No, 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 no. Your name is on that piece of paper. Your name is on the side of the truck. Your name is what they're looking for. They come in when, when, it's, when the attorneys come. They coming after you at home, couch quarterback. But see, you was taught into this situation. Man, that sounds good. I like that. Coming from a fine female. Don't get me wrong. She is fine. Slap that makeup on and that BBL and that wig. Woo! You guys fall for a bit button to smile every day. Every day. That's why that's why majority of these women gets over. I, I, no, no, no disrespect. Just saying. So again, they got this Espo and in order to attend this Espo, to attend this Espo, bro, they got three tiers. They got three tiers, right? The first tier is $79. This $79 gets you a virtual ticket. And what and what they mean by virtual, you 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 be sitting in it. Let's say you're a truck driver, you be sitting in the truck, you pay $79 and you'll be on a Zoom type deal or a live stream type deal. 70, 70, $97 gets you to watch from your phone the Espo. That's $79. General admission. Now, this is you actually going and being there face to face, mano y mano, handshake, handshake, $179. Dollars. Let me say it again. One hundred and seventy nine dollars. That's to go in, shake hands, mingle, network, all that type of stuff and listen to whoever she has up on the panel to sell you what others call a pipe dream. One hundred and ninety seven dollars. And finally, 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 if you want to get a corner to yourself, if you want to have a little area that's roped off VIP, I don't know if that includes bottle service, $497. Let's say it again, $497.
to attend the First Ladies of Freight Trucking Expo 2023, or I'm sorry, 2024 in Atlanta, hosted by a guy named Funky, I'm sorry, Funky Denny, with special guests, the huge TikToker with millions of followers, and she just recently opened up her own trucking school, Clarissa Rankin. She will be in the building, networking with y'all, having a seat with y'all, talking to y'all. Maybe she'll come up with a different aspect of what she can bring to the table at the First Ladies of Freight Trucking Expo in Atlanta. Now, in order to know where this secret place is at, you have to pay first and then they'll send you the information you need for this all-inclusive top secret meeting place yo let's shoot to the comments because the comments is crazy first commenter says scam run run for your life this second commenter says y'all keep falling for a bbl in a wig this commenter says this is a hustler on top of a hustler yeah that's what this is I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler, yeah. that's what it is X about me X about me X about it's the trucking hustle I'm a hustler I'm a, I'm a hustler yeah. homie. a lot of a lot of you guys haven't even figured that out yet a lot of you guys see this fine young lady talking about a business that she can make you money out of because she got the contracted freight she got the drivers and she could get you the trucks. Just pay me and I will get it for you. And I will teach you how to do it. But listen, listen though. Rates as they are is in the trash right now. Let a lot of drivers said it. Back during the pandemic, it was great. Drivers was making money hand over feet. They was running toilet paper for thousands of dollars. They was the only ones on the road that was rolling and these brokers needed them to run the loads. Not that many people was out there because a lot of people were sick with COVID and a lot of people was afraid to come out. But for the ones that was willing to sacrifice and make it happen, they was the ones that came out. They was the ones that made all that money. Money was good. You was able to buy a house, car, and maybe another truck and put somebody else in there. But when the pandemic ended, so did the money. The money dried all the way up, all the way up, all the way up to the point that some of you guys have to give up those trucks that y'all paid so much for and go back to being a company driver because the money wasn't there no more. Same thing with this uh, turnkey business. It was booming. It was good. But then when the money dried up, you guys are stuck with money that y'all ain't even see an investment in. Y'all paid all this money. The gurus see all your money. The gurus made all that money. The gurus standing near, standing on business. The gurus standing next to a Bentley. Gurus got that 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 ten thousand dollar Rolly. Gurus got them bling bling and the hair and all like that. The gurus got all of that. They got all of that. What you got? Nothing. Over here talking about man, I'm I'm about to sue. I'm about to. That's a scammer. That's this, that, and the third. Well, you should have should have did your homework. Maybe you should have did a little bit more homework instead of looking at that BBL and a smile because that would caught you. Don't they use fine ass women to sell shit, bro? When you look at trucking now, how many guys do you see that try to sell you in the trucking? You go on TikTok and you see females from the company that's trying to sell you in the trucking. Some of them look good, some of them look average, but it's still a female, and they know that females attracts guys. They coming over there to try to get with you. Think about it. Let's go back to the comments. This uh, commenter says, The tickets to her event are like $400, close to 500 and he's talking about the VIP session. He said a U.S. dot though, if you want a U.S. dot number, it only costs $300. He said let that marinate for a minute. He got some pushback though. He got some he got some pushback from a guy named Joe. I can't pronounce your last name, so I'm not gonna try, but he calls him a hater. See, there you go. He's a hater. Why why is he a hater, bro? Nigga, you just hating, feel me? That's why you ain't never gonna have no paper, ain't never gonna have no bitches, feel me? Wait. That's not a hate. It's a statement. It's an opinion. It's a thought. He's seen it. Look, listen. The VIP session is $197. That's $3 away from 500 
dollars just to go to an event just to sit off in a roped off session to listen to whatever sales pitch that they're pitching five hundred dollars is there going to be any other special guests there is there going to be a musical guest who's going to be there who's going to provide the music who's going to provide the entertainment is there going to be a top dj is dj envy going to be there is dj ryan wolf going to be there who's going to dj this event only thing we know is a host that we're not too familiar with and a quote-unquote famous tiktoker that's it who's coming there to provide the the interludes who's coming there to provide the the music is is there going to be any other famous truck drivers there is there going to be blaze williams going to be there uh, larissa clark is she going to be there how about sheree moore the, the 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 underrated female trucker that has the largest facebook group on facebook who else is going to be there who else that five hundred dollars will be worth paying and this guy smooth called him a hater why bro why and it is 497 dollars and he only's giving his opinion he said let that marinate that's all he didn't say nothing bad about the woman he just said look the difference you can get a mc dot for 300 and basically that's what they're calling themselves teaching you right they they calling themselves teaching you how to run a trucking company pay me and i'll show you how and all he says is hey 300 to get you a, a us dot number he goes on to say yo what's funny about that have you read the bbb that's the better business bureau reviews or notice her dot or oss what they're selling is a pipe dream bro and it's predatory to those that don't even know better i guess if that makes me a hater then so be it yeah predatory nobody ain't even touch on that part because if you don't know nothing about it, you're going to get hook, line, and sinker because you're the one that they're looking for, actually. They're not looking for the people that know. They want the people that don't know. Those are the easy targets. How scammers identify their targets when you go to places like New York, places like Las Vegas, how they zero in on unsuspecting tourists. That's how these scammers are. They zero in on unsuspecting people that don't know nothing but that are interested. Commenter says, Why do they have three different prices? Well, they got three different tiers, bro. One is virtual, one is the general admission to get in, and the other one is to sit in the roped off session of the of the club that they're gonna be in. The better question is, is why is it so secret? That's the better question. Why, why is this place that you're promoting that you're going to be at for this particular expo why it's so secret why people can't know where it's going to be at it's going to be at the atlanta center is it going to be at joe's house of blues where is it going to be at is it going to be in the basement is it going to be in your house she said uh, to a commenter that it's for security purposes i guess i guess i i, I guess i understand you you pay 197 dollars to get a ticket only to find out that you're going over to this person's house <laughs> think about that think about that man so if you don't pay that high price you don't get all the information the lowest price only gets you some basic information that probably might be true because if you pay that 497 dollars for the vip session of the room then the top tier people that you probably need to talk to or get with will probably be behind that paywall you'll probably be on the other side of the wall just mingling with the common folk in order to get that that wine service and that top tier in cab movie you gotta pay for first class he said wow learned a little something just enough to know nothing but thinking they know everything and trying to sell it to who you are black people last commenter and i'm about to get on up out of here so thank you guys for listening listen if you stay to the end of this commentary man put turnkey in the comments below all right the key word is turnkey in the comments if you stayed uh, to the end of this commentary this commenter says there's no shortcut to this business. 
She does not control the freight. She does not control the fuel prices. She does not control or dictate the insurance costs. Ooh, this is a good one. He says, start your LLC for like a hundred bucks, get you a business license for about seventy five hundred, and register with the FMCSA for like three hundred. No one, but no one controls everything in the trucking industry. Isn't that a giving? That is true. Nobody controls it. We don't know when the fuel price is going to go up next. We don't know when the freight rates is going to go up or down. All she can say is that, hey, I got a government contract. And she said it herself, right? She said it herself that she has a government contract. She'll get you the freight. I'll let her explain it. It's it's better for her to explain it than me to try to figure out what she said. It's the doll Funky Dineva, and I will be hosting the First Ladies of Freight Trucking Expo. So what will you be teaching at the expo? So we want to encourage all women, um, entrepreneurs of all walks of life, all ages, all tax brackets, to come out, you know, join our community, learn how to dispatch, learn about government contracts, learn about the laboratory side, because people don't know that you can, you know, incorporate the medical field as well. I'm assuming men are welcomed as well? Absolutely. Men are definitely welcome. And in trucking, you don't have to actually have a physical truck. What you can do is lease people on to your company and get a certain percentage for every load that they carry. Now, we have a turnkey trucking program which sets all that up. On that note, everybody, I do appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very much. Like this content, always subscribe to the channel. And if you stay to the end, turnkey is the keyword in the comments if you stay to the end of this commentary. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.